are you all doing? My name is Mary and today I'm going to talk to you about and take you on my own faith journey. Uh, so we all begin I suppose our faith journey from baptism and just a little fun fact about me I was actually baptized two and a half years after my after I was born and um, it was through my grandmother who brought us to the church and um, because my parents had baptized us in a board again church and she encouraged my parents to baptize us through the Catholic Church and so it was on that day that I have um, grown in communion um, with Christ from the moment of my baptism. And I really started my faith really early on. Um, God revealed himself to me through prayer. And uh, my brother had an accident when he was four, when he was two years old, I was four at the time. And um, he, he went underneath a car, he was hit by a car, he went underneath. And honestly, guys, I really did think that he wasn't gonna make it at the time. And I remember going uh, to prayer that night time with my grandmother and I prayed to the Lord that he heals my brother. And really miraculous thing was the next day he came home with my parents. All he had was like a bandaid on his forehead and nothing was broken. You know, um, I was a witness of him going underneath the car. They had to pull him out the car and it was really crazy um, that he came he came out of all that experience unbroken and it was a complete miracle and um, and that was the time when I truly believed in the power of prayer from the age of four and um, and moving on towards my life you know you kind of you grow and you grow in your faith and things like that and I remember going to church um, here um, uh, when I was 11 or 12, and there was um, an opportunity to join a youth choir. And I guess it was a long time from being four years old to 11 and 12, because nothing was super, super crazy in between that time period from four to 11 years old. Um, so anyway, in 11, when I was 11 and 12, um, I joined this youth choir in my parish. And so then I developed my skills. I learned how to play guitar. I, sh I grew to share my talents in my parish to now to this day actually leading the youth choir and um, sharing, sharing music of sharing prayer, uh, I suppose, praying with music is what I do now. And um, so yeah, from 11 and 12 years old, came to grow and in my music ministry, but didn't develop, um, I guess, the fully the understanding of, of God and why I go to church and, you know, why this and why that. And so my cousin came to me um, when I was 19. Uh, she gave me an invitation to go to Medjugorje with her. Um, I didn't know anything about Medjugorje. I was only in third year. I was going into my third year of nursing and I said yes to her. I didn't have a lot of money at the time, but she paid for my whole trip. My, my whole trip. The only thing I paid for was my trip to go to see her and join her uh, with her group from the UK to go to Medjugorje. And really crazy thing. Uh, what happened in Medjugorje was is where I met my now husband uh, so that's talking six years ago you know um, but in Medjugorje was the time when I had been transformed and set on fire um, with my encounter with Christ through the sacrament of reconciliation if you haven't gone to the sacrament of reconciliation I encourage you to do so uh, you I pray over you and I pray for you that you encounter Christ same way that I did and I remember going to the sacrament of confession and poured out my heart um, to the priest who was in persona of Christ and gave him my heart you know and I just felt my the gates of my heart were opened wide and since then since I've come home I've been set on fire and the doors have been opened to me uh, and and as as part, be as part of the body of Christ, right? as part of community. I grew in my parish uh, community. I became part of youth ministry, became, becoming the face of youth ministry in my parish and bringing young people um, to different encounters, kind of YouTube, like U2000. I have brought like a group of young people to U2000 um, as well as myself to continue to grow in my faith. And, um, but yeah, so I've, I've been to, I've 
been doing training, such foundational leadership program with the Archdiocese of Dublin, went to the World Youth Day in Krakow, I went on the Camino and, it, you know, the doors um, from the moment that I had been transformed in Medjugorje and converted to the, you know, just the life of my faith, this really meant so much more than what it had been beforehand. Um, and in youth ministry, you know, because of that fire of uh, wanting to bring, you know, wanting to bring Christ to people, um, I, I, I dived in, I went in, had to deal with, I suppose, dealt with disappointments and discouragement, you know, because you invite young people and they won't turn up. And I think um, true growth and through that experience, I've come to know that God is everywhere, that we don't necessarily need to bring God to people, that he's everywhere. And so sometimes all that we need to do is really pray um, for those experiences, for those people, for those young people. Um, and so that that is, I suppose, the fruit of uh, having had gone into youth ministry and serving uh, my parish life. And um, yeah, so... <laughs> That's 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 the fruits, I suppose, of of youth ministry and the power of the Lord working through you to serve your church in any way that you possibly can. Because you're thinking that who am I, you know, who am I serving and helping bring people to get bringing people to come to know Christ? Like who am I, and you know what what knowledge do I have of God apart from my experience? And I think I think that is what you can bring to people. I think living your faith. And um, living your faith and what somebody had always said that, you know, living your faith um, is, is it's in, in itself a testimony that you don't necessarily need words unless it's necessary that you need words for uh, to explain your faith. And um, so now I currently just pray for our youth ministry and especially during these hard times when we can't be with our community, um, we can be in community and prayer. And I'm so thankful for my parish that we actually um, do online prayer every night uh, together. And it's, it's just so wonderful that we're still united in prayer, even though we're so far apart and we actually haven't been to mass for such a long time. And I think we're all craving the Lord and, and the Eucharist and community, you know, um, but during these times, during these very hard times, keep up with your prayer, um, sing songs, uh, praise and worship and you know you are not alone in this in this very difficult time and uh, believe in the power of prayer we will make it all through this I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas I hope you guys have a good one take care